Hey peeps, what's up Manji here, back with another video and if you've just gotten the iPhone 14 Pro or the iPhone 14 Pro Max and you are wondering how you can use Dynamic Island, what are the limitations, what you can do, what you cannot do with this latest piece of software technology from Apple which they call Dynamic Island, that is what we're going to cover in this video. So first things first, what is Dynamic Island? Now, on previous Apple iPhones, you had a notch. So as you can see, this here is the iPhone 12 mini and this is the notch. Here you have your front camera, your face ID hardware and your earpiece. With the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, Apple decided to put the speaker up here, right on the border of the display. And they condensed the Face ID stuff and your front camera into this black cutout which you see. And they call it Dynamic Island. If you look at it pretty close and the light hits this dynamic island at the right angle, you will notice that there are two separate parts to this and between that you have some display or screen. But Apple decided to black out those pixels so that it looks like one cutout but in actual you have two hardware cutouts and the display in between has been blacked out and all that is possible because they are using an AMOLED display on these iPhones. Now in true Apple fashion whatever they do they try to add some style to it and that is what they did with this design change on the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So this dynamic island can act as a notification center so let us say i change between the different ringer modes using the alert slider i get my notification in the dynamic island similarly when you connect your phone to the charger you get airdrop a file via an airdrop you get a call your face id animation can also be seen in the dynamic island as long as the phone is unlocked then you can also use it for background ongoing activities like say a phone call a timer you are recording your screen turn by turn navigation live activities all those will show up in the dynamic island and before you ask me hey manji can i enable or disable dynamic island the answer to that is no you cannot enable or disable dynamic island it is enabled out of the box then what about the applications so not all applications are going to use dynamic island in fact apple's own messages app does not use dynamic island as a notification system so that is a drawback now the next question is how do you interact with the dynamic island so when there is no activity which is going on a single tap will just give you a small increase in size and then back to the original size a press and hold is going to give you a haptic feedback but again nothing is happening or there is no activity in the dynamic island so no action is going to be taken now what if there is some activity going on so let us go ahead and start a timer so let me start a timer for say 13 minutes and tap on start and now if i go to the home screen you will notice that i have a notification of this ongoing background activity of the timer in the dynamic island a single tap is going to open the application which is the clock app or the timer app in this case but if you press and hold it is going to bring up a widget like thing with some common actions which you can do so you can either pause the timer or you can close the timer but this is with one activity now what if there are multiple activities so let us go ahead and play some music on my phone and now if i go to the home screen you will notice that 
things have changed a little so the timer has moved over and the dynamic island has split the prominent part here is being taken by the music application and the timer is on the right hand side so if i press over here on the dynamic island right now the music application is opened but if i press and hold i will get some other controls with the music app so i can either pause the music move over to the next track or the previous track now before you ask me hey manji can i switch between these two applications that is the clock goes to the music place and the music goes to the clock place well unfortunately that is not possible but if you try to swipe on this dynamic island from say the left to the right you will notice that the clock has now taken the place of the music app because i have successfully dismissed that notification and if i go back to the music application you will notice that it is still playing in the background just that i have dismissed it and once you have dismissed it once it will not appear in your dynamic island until and unless you kill the application and then if i go back to the music app i play this piece of music once again go to the home screen and bam we are back in business we now have two applications using the dynamic island and of course the next question you're going to ask me is hey manji what if we have more than three applications or background activities which are capable of using the dynamic island then what happens well so let us go ahead and start the screen recording now do note that screen recording is allowed to use your dynamic island and you did notice that things in the dynamic island have changed a little bit we still have our music thing which now ended we now have our clock and we have our screen recording going on in the background so let us open the music application and then we can try to play the music and there it is you can see music is first priority then your screen recording is second priority the timer is still running in the background but it will not show up in the dynamic island because the limitation here is a maximum of two applications or ongoing activities however if i go to one of those activity which is the music app i now have the clock in the main part of the dynamic island and the screen recording notification in the other part of course i can tap on this screen recorder and then stop the screen recording by using the widget kind of thing which i get and now if we go back we are back to the original situation wherein we have music in the prominent part of the island and then the split island has the clock application and the timer going on over there now another feature of dynamic island is let us say i open the camera application you will notice i have a green dot here in the area where they have blacked out the pixels so this green dot is a notification telling me that the camera is being used similarly if the microphone is being used you will get a gray dot in that area and last but not the least you know iphones ios apple is all about the animations so even with dynamic island let us say i swipe from the center and go to the center you will see the animation go to the center but if i swipe from the right to the left to go to my home screen you will see the animation go in a curved way here it is one more time that i think is pretty cool and it works both ways so yes apple has put in some effort to glorify the punch hole which android oems couldn't do they did add some functionality to what could be an eyesore so you do have to appreciate what they did and there it is peeps that is all there is to know about dynamic island on your iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max